guys, it's uh, Ryan from Ryan's Sessions. Um, heading home from uh, first day at work uh, on a Monday. Ugh. Anyways, um, the upcoming video you're going to be seeing is going to be, as you can see on the title there, it's going to be, how can you tell the difference between 63 all the way to 1967 Corvette C2s, uh, also known as Corvette Stingrays. Um, so, in the video, it's kind of jumbled and jumped around, uh, and so again, it's one of those things where I'm at an auction, and I'm trying to talk real fast, and I'm thinking faster, and fucking words are all jumbled around and shit, but, uh, just listen to the substance, it's, uh, so, what I know is how to tell the difference between a 63, 64, 65, 66, and 67, uh, all Stingway Corvettes, so, uh, enjoy the past me uh, trying to explain the difference uh, and it does get repetitive I just want to try to I'm one of those people that tells you three or four times the same shit so uh, forgive that so but hopefully you'll will learn something if you don't already know how to tell the difference uh, on the uh, C2s and uh, if you don't and you're out and about you can maybe impress some of your friends all right, enjoy the past me explaining this shit to you guys. All right, take care. Bye. How do you tell a C2, 63, all the way to 67, how you tell them apart? Well, this is the 63. This is, uh, other than the 67, first, which is last year, 63 being the first year. Those are the two most desirable years. This is a 63. You can tell a 63 from the gills right here on the hood. 63 and 64 both had these side gills on the side and the front fenders as we said before uh, the 65 would have three horizontal going this way 67 last year had four fins going that way this is a split window which is the most desirable one year only but if it wasn't a split window if it was a convertible let's just say um, then uh, you could tell that it was a 63 from the hood and the side skirts. I know these also are different on certain years. I just don't know what the deal is on that. But uh, those are the two differences, or three differences in this case, that I, uh, I do know. The split window, obviously a 63. The side gills are 63, 64. Hood only for 63 with these fake grids. And I want to say the headlight uh, doors on a 63 were steel, and then after that they went to fiberglass. If I'm incorrect or got that ba backwards, someone can comment below. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't tell. But... There you go, guys. Uh, that's a modified 63, obviously. Uh, of course, drum brakes all the way around. This did not ha uh, did not become uh, the norm until 65. And the hottest engine for this would be a fuel-injected 327. I uh, don't know the exact horsepower output on that. I think 350, maybe, somewhere in that area. Uh, I'm not a Corvette man, per se. I just do know a little bit difference. Uh, speaking of Corvettes, here's a 1964 example. Uh, no grills on the hood, but it still has the 63 side uh, fins. I guess that's the only thing I can come up with saying. <coughs> Last year for the drums all the way around, this is a four-speed fuel injected. I don't know if it's a factory fuel, but uh, pretty cool. All right, it's obviously a convertible. And uh, as far as uh, C2s are concerned, 64 is the best bargain. Uh, they were the least desirable of all. So, doesn't mean it's cheap, I mean, I'm just saying it's the least desirable. All righty. This is a 65 or a 66, you can tell because of the Fins on the side here. 
Okay. Side gills, they call them. Um, I don't know yet. I haven't walked up to it. But it's a 65 or a 66 convertible. Okay, it says 65. Okay. Now, 66 should have a white reverse light right here and a 66. A 65 would have two red lights. So that's how you can tell a 65 from a 66. The white lamp here and if it has those side gills, you know. Also, 65 was the first year for the big block option and the disc brakes all the way around. They had drums before then. So here is a 65 example right there. And when we come across something else, we'll uh, go from there. But that's a 1965. All right, here's a 1965. 396 big block, the only year you could get a... First year for the big block, the only year you could get a 396. And with the 427 and 66 and 67. Side pipes. Disc brakes. First year for disc brakes. Big block hood. I think on a previous video I said 66... Uh, was the only year for that hood, but no, it's uh, 65 and 66 big block hoods were those, and then the Stinger hood was 67 only. 67 Stinger hood right there, guys. That's the big block hood for 67. Okay, guys, here's a modified 67. Uh, very modified. It has a 572 in it now, but uh, 67 Stinger hood. Very popular upgrade. You'll see other year uh, Corvettes with that Stinger hood because it's just such an iconic and good looking hood. But 67 was the only year and it was supposed to only be for uh, big blocks at first but they actually put them in small blocks because as they were getting rid of the body style cars uh, they had a lot of hoods over so you can get a small block with the Stinger on it. Uh, here's a 67. This is what I was talking about before. The side uh, fins on the fenders. Those are four horizontal, uh, pardon me, vertical, excuse me. This is a side pipe car, it's very sweet. I uh, wonder if it's four speed. No, it's just five speeds, obviously. Like I said, it's been modified. Gauges are different. This is obviously a convertible. Also, how you can tell a 67 from apart from anywhere else, let's just say you're behind it and you can't look at the front end. The ass end tells you all too. The center tail lights, uh, reverse light rather right here remember 66 would have a white lens here and as uh, there was a mandated for reverse lights uh, DOT got involved there's a 67 reverse light one year only last year for the C2 so let's do a real quick recap just in case we can't uh, find a, a 64 or a 66 because those are the two years we're missing 67 the the reverse lights also the side fins here stinger hood is also a, a, give, a giveaway however not always because uh, like I said is because of the popularity people put them on their 63s and up so those two things for sure three things maybe also 65 67 would have three of the fins going horizontal, but a 66, uh, I'm sorry, 65, 66 is what I would just say. 66 would have the reverse lights in the back. 64 and 63, the, fin the fins went this way, but 63 was the only year for the square hood grill right there. 65, of course, was the first year for the drum brakes while you were around. And uh, big block option. And 63 as far as uh, the coupes are converted, the only year for the split window. All right, well, I hope you guys learned something on how to tell a 62, excuse me, 63 to 67 Corvette apart for the different years. All right, as we're uh, focusing on this. Porsche 930 slant nose. We're going to say goodbye until next time. Thank you.
Hi guys, I hope you liked the video and I hope it made some sense to you. Uh, a couple quick corrections. Uh, the um, I said horizontal when I, or vertical when I meant to say horizontal on the 65 uh, and 66 uh, side gills on the front fenders. And also I said drum brakes all the way around on a 65 where it was disc brakes. Um, if anybody knows anything about the, on the coupes, um, the the gills on the uh, B pillar there, uh, let me know because I think those are also distinctive to different year on the coupes. Of course, the convertibles don't have them. Um, 60, and one thing I forgot to mention in, uh, as a recap in the video was a 63 was the only year for the split window again uh, on the coupes. Uh, convertibles are harder to tell the different years. Um, the coupes, of course, after the split window, they were just one piece of glass. On, on the on the years um, that's pretty much it I think uh, I think I pretty much covered it up if I got something wrong or uh, there's something else to add uh, feel free to comment like subscribe thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you guys learned something all right take care bye